Hi guys, Joe Redman here from Turfcast Podcast, just giving my thoughts ahead of James Tarkovsky's what seems imminent move uh, to Goodison Park from Burnley. Um, pretty gutted he's leaving, but not surprised. It's been something that we've expected as, as Burnley fans for two years now. Uh, he said a couple of years ago that, that he wouldn't be signing a new contract at Burnley. Um, in my opinion, we should have probably got rid of him last season and cashed in on him. Um, but I think we'd have been relegated long before uh, the last day of the season if we did do that. Um, he's been a rock for us. He's been our best defender, in my opinion, in my lifetime. Um, ben Mee is the closest. Michael Keane was good as well. Obviously, you guys will disagree, I think, uh, to be honest. But Michael Keane was good for us. I, I do think he got found out a little bit uh, with you. Um, it, although, I think at first it was a little bit hit and miss, Michael Keane, with you guys. But again, I, I'm, I'm obviously, I, I wouldn't know. But for Burnley, he was sensational. But James Tarkovsky was even better. Um other defenders in my lifetime that come close to Tarky, I think that's, that's probably it. Some might argue Steve Davis, but that were in the lower leagues. Um, so, yeah, it, it, you're getting a really, really good defender. Um, and he's going to Goodison Park because he wants to play for England. Um, and obviously, now we're in the Championship as well, of course. He, he doesn't want to play in the Championship, and that's fair enough. But it, the reason why he's wanted to leave Burnley for, for some time is because Gareth Southgate made it clear that he wouldn't be getting in the England setup while he played for Burnley. He didn't say it in so many words like you're not getting in because you're playing for Burnley, but he saw, uh, in an interview once he said, you know, uh, we are aware of James Tarkovsky's um, style of play at his club uh, and we're looking for something different. But um, Gareth likes defenders who are, are good with the ball at their feet um, and goalkeepers as well. Um, uh, so that's why Tarke sometimes gets overlooked for England. But if you actually watch him play with the ball at his feet, he's actually really good at it. There are defenders out there that are better than him than that, and it's not his strongest strength. Uh, but he is, he is decent at it. He was the best defender uh, until Nathan Collins arrived with the ball at his feet at, at Burnley. Um, and he can play it out from the back. Um, I just I just felt felt like Gareth should have given him the chance to do that with England and say, all right, you don't necessarily do that with Burnley because you play more of a low block sort of style. Um, coming to England, have if you have a crack at it. Um, but but he did. Uh, he, he got called up for England. He played well in all his games, and then Southgate was just like, yeah, uh, we're not playing him. We're not playing you anymore. So it's been on the cards this move for a while, um, simply because simply because he's got England ambitions, and then obviously the relegation confirmed it. Um, but even if we'd have stayed in the Premier League, um, he weren't staying. So you're getting a very, very, very good defender. And I know a few Everton fans, have, I've seen some comments and stuff saying, oh, why are we buying another defender from Burnley? Uh, Michael Keane were, were dreadful and things like that. But he's better than Michael Keane, number one. Uh, and number two, it doesn't matter if he plays for Burnley or not. He's still a very, very good defender, you know. Um, he's strong in the air. I've already mentioned he's good with the ball at his feet. And, and he's really grown recently as well. Like in the last two years, he's, he's put a lot of muscle mass on and he's become a, you know, a bit more of a rock, a stronger sort of defender. Uh, and I think Everton have got some, you know, I won't name names, but some poor defenders that I do think James Tarkovsky is better than. I know you have troubles with injuries as well, um, especially at the back. I think Yerry Mean has not played too many games for you guys. Obviously, you'll know more than that uh, than me. But Tarky very rarely gets injured. Uh, I think he's, he's, he's hit minimum 35 games every season in the Premier League he's played for us. Um, so that's over the last five seasons. Um, so you're getting a reliable defender. You're getting a defender that isn't injury prone. You're getting a defender that's good in the air. You're getting a defender that's good with the ball at his feet. And you're getting him for free. Honestly, you get you're getting him for free. Yes, you'll probably have to pay more in wages, which is be another reason why why Tarky did want to leave. But but the main one was was the England setup. Um, but even if you give him hundred grand a week, you know, yeah, it's still not that much in the grand scheme of things in most Premier League football clubs. Um, obviously, we've never had anybody on hundred grand a week. But even if you gave him that, you're still saving money from what you would do if you were spending thirty million pound on him, which is what he was rated at a couple of seasons ago when West Ham and Leicester were interested. Uh, and, and, he, and he is definitely worth that, by the way. Um, so you're still saving money there. Yes, you'll, again, you'll probably have to give him a, a signing on fee, but it's, it just makes sense. I think for Everton, it just makes sense. Uh, and I'm not sure why some Everton fans aren't overly happy with the transfer. It, I, I just think it's a very, very good transfer for you. Uh, and you're getting a very, very good defender who, in my opinion, will now stand a chance of getting back in the England side. Uh, maybe not in time for the World Cup. It depends how much you guys play him. Um, but he's been getting overlooked because he's been playing for Burnley um, and now we'll be coming in like Michael Keane we're getting called up quite a lot while playing for you guys you know um, Tyrone Mings is definitely 100% better than Tyrone Mings I know it's a bit of a meme uh, to give Tyrone Mings a bit of abuse um, well not abuse sort of like you could give him sort of like banter for, for his, his playing style and stuff but Ta James Tarkovsky is so much better than Tyrone Mings um, I'd say he's on a par with Conor Corder, um, if not potentially a little bit better um, 
you guys hopefully the guys the Everton fans that have sort of like said that you know they're not overly keen on him on him going to Goodison you'll see him play over the next few next few months and uh, and couple of seasons hopefully he does very very well for you uh, and you'll all change your mind because I'm telling you now he's a brilliant brilliant defender he's a good lad as well like he's, he's not like this year for example um, he did have a bit of an injury um, with, uh, the last with about eight games to go seven games to go and, and he picked up a, a, a hamstring injury and everyone's like oh talk is out for minimum eight weeks so he probably won't see him again this season two weeks later two weeks later he came back he rushed back for Burnley tried to get to, to, to keep us in the Premier League um, and he didn't need to do that because he knows that or at the time he knew he wasn't signing for, uh, again for Burnley so he knew that a really bad injury could have hindered his chance of getting another club after his contract at Burnley ran out but he, he, he put the club first um, so yeah, you're getting a really, really good defender, but it goes with our blessings as well. No Burnley fan will begrudge him the move. Um, a few will be upset to see him leave, obviously, because he's such a good defender. But yeah, I think the majority of Burnley fans uh, are going to wish Tarky well and hope to see him back in the England squad soon.